When you meet with a personal injury attorney, the first thing you're going to want to know is what did they charge you and how. In most cases, it's a contingency fee of 33% or one third. Also, you're going to want to know, do they charge you a contingency fee plus costs or are costs waived? Costs uh, can include the cost of getting medical records, investigators, experts, uh, and some firms will even charge you for copying costs, faxes, phone calls, and they can uh, sort of nickel and dime you. So it's very good to make it clear with the attorney what costs you will be charged beyond the one-third contingency fee. Another thing you're going to want to ask the personal injury attorney is what insurance coverages are available for your injury and accident. There can be a myriad of insurance policies that are involved. In Minnesota, most likely you'll have a no-fault policy for medical, a no-fault policy for wage loss. You will have a bodily injury policy in most car accidents. You could also have underinsured coverage or uninsured coverage. Um, in certain car accidents, there can be several liability policies or even workers' compensation insurance involved. Uh, in certain circumstances, there can be med pay coverage. So for you to understand what benefits you can receive, you need to know what types of insurance are available for you and what those policy limits are. So for instance, if somebody hits you and they have a 30,000 policy limit, that's the most you can get from their insurance. If they have a 50,000 or 100,000 policy limit, that's a different story. That's the maximum you can get from their insurance. And in some cases, folks have a umbrella of 1.1 million or more. Another question you would want to ask a personal injury attorney when you meet with them is what happens to my medical bills uh, once no fault covers them? And what I'm talking about here is no fault will typically pay the first 20,000 of medical bills, but what if no fault runs out of their 20,000 and now what happens to your medical bills? It's important to understand this because when you settle your case, you're going to have to repay your health insurance in many cases if they paid the bills, or you may have to pay the medical bills personally if they went uh, just directly to you. So you need to understand what's going to happen at the end when I get my settlement. What money is going to come out of those settlement funds? And that could be attorney's fees, attorney's costs, it could be repaying health insurance, it could even be repaying no fault in limited circumstances, um, and it could be repaying uh, uh, medical bills. So you need to understand what's going to happen at the end with your settlement and how to properly proceed so that you get the fullest recovery that you can get given the fact that a lot of your money is going to be taken away at the time of the settlement.